Good morning, Eagle Nation. Today is Wednesday. It is the 5th of October. It is the 45th day of school. Let us together observe a moment of silence. Thank you. Let's get on with our morning announcements. Enjoy this. Good morning, Eagle Nation. Let's get to it. Today's the 45th day of school. Wherever you may be, please stop. Please stand. Let us rise together for this morning's Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. It is Wednesday, which means we'll continue our practice because we're not resting just yet. We've got fall break in order to do that. But today's a half day, tomorrow's an early release day, and Friday's an early release day. Let's do 23. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nice job. Thank you for joining me for those and for joining for this morning's Pledge of Allegiance. On this day, we bring Hispanic Heritage Month to a close. We had no new submissions, but a uh, tradition here that we've begun is to celebrate by recounting and recapping all that we've learned over the course of several weeks for Hispanic Heritage Month. So in so doing, we have a trivia game. It works like this. I'm gonna pose to you a question, and then you as a class have to decide what is the answer to the question, and secondarily, what are the coordinates on the coordinate grid? And then, as a class, tell your teacher what the answers are to those two things so you can work together as a class and submit them at the link below this video. Your first question, right out of the gates, is as follows. Who or what am I describing? This is a book written by a Cuban-American author that takes place in Florida. And the book tells the story of a young boy who attempts to save his family's restaurant and also find some resolution in his uh, feelings towards his grandmother's goddaughter and whether or not that is okay. Oftentimes in this book, they use the word bro. What is the name of that book? And what are the coordinates on the coordinate grid? Take a look at the link below. Identify that picture and where it's located on the grid. Submit your answers also on the link below. And good luck. We'll have prizes for the winning class. Um, this is not the only question though, so you got to keep up on this each day. Today's question is worth a total of five points. Good luck. Um, and with that, in fact, um, only announcements we have is that today's early release, so is tomorrow, so is Friday. Your October break begins um, on Monday of next week. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. There is no school next week. It's a chance for you and teachers alike to step back uh, from the rigors of your schoolwork, to rest, to relax, to reconnect um, as needed, and then to come back ready to roll for second semester or second quarter, excuse me, on October the 17th. Also, in grades four, five, and six, we have been rehearsing our multi-age classroom schedule that will officially begin on Monday the 17th. 
One last word on schedules. Please be sure that you check the schedule that Ms. Hughes put together for us um, as it pertains to tomorrow and Friday. We did move the kinder first and second grades um, to an earlier time of day so that um, you kinder first and second grade teachers will get your prep on Thursday and Friday um, and that students, you, will still get to see your special area classes. So thank you to all for making that adjustment, for remaining flexible, and thank you, Ms. Hughes, for putting that together. All right, let's get to some words of wisdom so you can get to the business of teaching and learning. And today is on the topic of the golden rule, and it comes to us by way of Francis of Assisi, which was a small town in Italy. Francis of Assisi said, Blessed is the man who helps his neighbor in trouble just as he would wish to be helped in the same circumstance. All of us get into trouble at times, or we get hurt, or we are sad. Kids fall off their bicycles, teenagers get their hearts broken, parents lose their jobs, senior citizens fall ill. Every day there are chances to reach out and help someone else in trouble, just as we would want to be helped if we were in the same situation. So today, and every day, practice the golden rule and treat others as you would wish to be treated. With something to think about, this is Mr. Lodato. Mask up today as needed. After all, it's flu and COVID season. Got my shot yesterday. Then, hats and hoods off indoors, stay in your zones, put away your phones, and make it a great day or not. The choice is yours.